What's up guys? Today I want to give three tips to help beginning freehand sharpeners achieve a razor sharp knife. I get questions all the time about sharpening, whether it's through private message, comments, or email, and these three tips are going to help address some of those questions. Tip number one, angles don't matter. Okay, angles do matter, but it's not how you think. Ideally, we wanna try and maintain the angle that came stock with the knife. All we need to do is set the knife on the stone and raise it up until it looks like we have matched the stock angle on the stone. So we just wanna raise the knife up just until this edge here touches the stone and that's our angle. Don't overthink this. It doesn't matter if it's one degree off or another. Just try the best you can and match that angle. As long as we're not at one end of the spectrum or the other end of the spectrum, but we're somewhere in the middle, that's all we need to worry about. The trick is whatever angle we choose, we need to maintain that angle throughout our sharpening process. So we're just maintaining the angle that we've chosen as we're sharpening. Tip number two. The most important thing that we need to be aware of when sharpening knives is to make sure that we apex our edge. So what does completely apexing an edge mean? That means that we take this side of the blade and we take this side of the blade and we make sure that they come to an exact point in the middle. We don't want a rounded off point in the middle we don't want a flat point in the middle, but we want to make sure that both sides of those blades touch each other and come to a point in the middle. So how do we know when we fully apexed our edge? One way is to simply feel if we formed a burr along our edge. What exactly is a burr? Well, that's a very good question. This is a burr. You see this piece of metal at the very edge of this ax? You can feel this by simply taking your finger and moving it up one side. You can take your finger and move it along the other side. Now sometimes the burr will hold to one side. I can't feel the burr on this side, but I can feel it when I run my finger this way. So another way that we can check our blade and make sure that we fully apexed and formed a burr is to simply take it into some direct sunlight or get a bright flashlight and shine it right on the very edge of our blade here. Now I can see, it's not gonna come across the camera, but I can see right here at the tip, I have not fully apexed. And what you're looking for is you're looking for a reflection. If light reflects off of this very edge here, then you haven't fully apexed and you need to go back to the stone. Now another really simple and probably the easiest way to check whether or not you fully apexed or formed a burr is to just take it right to the strop off of your coarsest stone. We can go right from a 220 grit stone Clean our blade off, get all that 220 grit off of there, and take it right to a strop. Now if our blade is not sharp from our 220 or our 400, after we've stropped, if it's not sharp enough to shave with, then you're not going to get a sharp knife progressing farther along the grits. We need to go back to that low grit stone, that 220 grit stone, and work it until we fully apex our edge. And at that point, we can move on and progress through our grits after we've achieved a sharp knife on our lowest grit stone. Tip number three. So tip number three is to always sharpen backwards on the stone. We've all seen people who sharpen back and forth like this. I do it myself. But what that involves is a lot of muscle memory. Sharpening has a lot to do with muscle memory and how well you can maintain an angle throughout your sharpening. Now it's easy to maintain an angle going backwards and to not overshoot our angle. What I mean by that is if we mess up pulling towards us like this and our angle, our knife angle changes and we lift the blade up as we're coming towards us, we'll actually dig into the stone, kind of like that right there. And when we do that, that means that we gotta start over again. So if we always sharpen backwards, we'll never run into that problem. It's much easier to maintain an angle if we pull the blade backwards on the stone. Bonus, stropping tip.
Okay, so when we're stropping our blade, one thing that we want to do is we want to strop at slightly less of an angle. Meaning that if we sharpen at this angle here, we actually want to bring our angle down just a little bit, apply light to moderate pressure, and then we can strop. Now the reason we want to do that is because our strop is actually made out of soft material. The leather actually conforms to the very edge of our blade. Now if we were to strop at a steeper angle than what we sharpened, the leather could actually conform too much and round off our edge. So stropping at slightly less of an angle than what we sharpened at allows the leather to conform to our edge without rounding it off. Alright guys, that's it. Three tips to help beginning sharpeners achieve a sharp knife. Now remember, this video is, does not cover all the aspects of sharpening. We could spend hours covering every single aspect of each of these topics. And um, maybe that's a topic for future videos. But remember, all this video is for is to help people new to sharpening achieve a sharp knife. So remember, if you like this video, please like it, please subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Um, if you have a question pertaining to any of these subjects, ask me, I'll do my best to answer. If you ask me a question and I don't answer, it's most likely because I didn't get the notification. YouTube is being really strange with its notifications lately and I haven't been getting comments or notifications that anybody has even commented um, until like weeks later. So if you leave a comment and I don't answer, uh, don't take it personally, it's just because I didn't see your comment. Alright guys, I hope these three tips helped. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.